Don't you want devoted followers who leave their families for you, give their money to you, give their bodies to you, give up their lives for you, consider you God, and will kill you? Is Andrew Tate starting a cult? In my previous video, I documented his whole life story, and during that, I came across a clip that kind of shook me. I think it's good for me to be able to say, ah, look, I have 110,000 people who like me, who are my fans, for example, who would help me if I ever asked for it, not that I ever would, who agree with my worldviews, but they're being taken seriously because they also have financial means. If they're complete brokies, nobody gives a shit. Okay, so isn't, That's that just what, wait, isn't, that, isn't that what a cult is? When you hear him say that, and then you realize he's openly supported other cult leaders like Joseph Coney. And the reason I got this t-shirt made is because I have a lot of respect for Coney. Now I know, okay, he's a warlord, whatever, whatever. But Coney is a G. And he has even praised the infamous German dictator. Everything must happen instantly, quickly, fast, speed, attack. Hitler conquered Europe with Blitzkrieg. You need to go quickly. Then you realize he now has over 130,000 people paying him every month, essentially for his advice. But above all else, he has a secret organization called The War Room, a network of members with varied expertise which allows them to exert influence globally. They congregate in real life with the ultimate goal of achieving freedom in a world of slavery. This slavery is just beginning. They are trying to reduce you to a QR code and they are looking for people who blindly comply. This is why they make these mandates. The mandate is designed to purge the ranks of anybody who is not a slave. This world of slavery is what he calls the matrix, which kind of is just anyone who participates in the confines of today's society. When I talk about the matrix, I'm talking about the systems which have been created by society, which are deliberately designed to enslave. In this matrix, we're used for our efforts and our energies. And you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. So is it possible that Andrew Tate is doing a 2022 version of convincing people to believe in his worldview and worshiping him, then funneling them into a secret group to control them even more? Then once he has that control, well, we don't really know what he's gonna do next, but he is going to do something based on what he said here. Are you trying to keep up being like as viral as you are forever? This is stage oh. one of a three-step plan. So I'm gonna be viral for a little bit longer, then step two begins. The conquest is continuing. I started doing research on cults, how they form, how they operate, how do members join, then research on cult leaders, how do they act, how do they recruit, how are they successful and unsuccessful? And before I give you this example, think about Andrew, the War Room Network, and how he thinks everyone is living in the Matrix. Typically, cults start as religious groups, which slowly turn into something dark and sinister. For example, the People's Temple. Jim Jones was a Methodist preacher with a sizable congregation in Indianapolis. He began to perform faith healings. Many of his followers believed he had a supernatural gift. The church would be renamed to the People's Temple, and Jones warned his followers that he had received visions of a nuclear attack that would devastate Indianapolis. This led the church to relocating to Guyana and forming their own little town that we now know as Jonestown. In the beginning, everything seemed all right, just a group of people trying to make a community. Eventually, a U.S. Congressman, Leo Ryan, led a fact-finding mission and went to Jonestown. While visiting, members of the People's Temple told Congressman Ryan they needed help and wanted to leave. Ryan quickly departed with 15 of those members. While boarding their plane, a truck of the cult members arrived at the airstrip and began shooting at the plane. Congressman Ryan and four others were killed that day. Later that same day, Jones, knowing that the U.S. government would send the military to seize Jonestown, was quoted saying, No way for us to die. We must die with some dignity. A drink mixture of flavor aid and cyanide was created and handed out to all members. Those who refused to drink were injected with cyanide via syringe against their will. In total, 909 inhabitants of Jonestown died that day. Cults are structured like an onion. The outer layers consist of helpful, harmless, and agreeable information. As you get closer to the center, you find more unusual and evil ideals. Andrew started to gain traction by representing the ideals of right-wing conservatives on social media in a day and age where liberal ideals dominate the mainstream. In America, it's assumed the country is about 50% Republican and 50% Democrat, but most celebrities, companies, and mainstream media outlets identify as Democratic and liberal, so there is, theoretically, a huge part of the country that is being underrepresented. That's where Andrew steps in. People latch onto him and his ideas because he says the things that generally most Republicans or conservatives agree with. Doesn't that show how powerful the, the people behind all this shit are? Yeah. 
Do you know? Like, you've it's, got Trump who doesn't give a shit. It's a big fight we have ahead of us. You know? Yeah. And you've got yeah. the best soldier you could have as a president, and he's still struggling to get the wall built. He's still yeah. struggling. Still, he's still people, conservatives are being censored on social we media. This is the outer layer of the Colt onion. The second layer of the onion would be more of his controversial takes that divide people. The things he says or does where even his own followers might disagree. To get to the more shady and evil layers, if there are any, you would probably have to join the war room. He's extremely vague with what the war room really is. The war room is a private network. That's the most I can say. Kind of imagine the Freemasons of old. What we do know is that the war room is like the Freemasons, which some consider to be a cult. We know it's a secret organization. We know that members have to pay to be in it as well as compete to prove their value to the organization. We know that people join because they fear being stuck in the matrix and the war room will be able to protect them. We know they meet in real life. We only know three members of the war room, Tristan Tate, this author, and this guy Iggy, who is the master of spells and shadows. According to his Twitter account, he is the greatest hypnotist the world has ever known. Every other member of the war room we can assume is just looked at as a number based on this video. So I want you to consider all of that while watching this video. Don't you want to become a cult leader? Since the death of God, there's been a vacancy open. You could fill that void. Here's how. Establish front groups. We're a Bible study group. We're a management course. We're a meditation center. Hustlers University. Promise to fulfill their dreams. We have the secrets to self-improvement. Join our elite mission. You cannot stop me. I'm that guy. You need my help. You have two choices. You either sell your soul to Tate and say, I accept Tate is all-knowing. I will listen to you inside of Hustlers University. Please save me. Offer them something free and get them to feel obliged to give you something in return. Welcome to the Hustlers University 2.0 webinar. Free presentation. Gradually over time, you'll begin to shape the recruit's behavior by granting or withholding this love and attention. After they've bonded, slowly start making your demands upon them. The message being, Nothing in this world has value unless it relates to the leader. If you have less money than me, even by a single cent, you're a f***ing brokey, a wagey, a peon, a peasant, a nobody. Control their behavior. Come live with us. Wear these clothes. Eat this food. Why drink Coke? Why the f*** would you spend three pounds on a Coke when you can have an orange juice, a coffee, and a water? One of the most important ways to discover someone's a dickhead or not is if they wear a smartwatch. But male haircuts are probably the epitome, the top of the mountains of pointless sh** men do. I want to be like him. Let me ask you a question. Do you eat salt and pepper? You only eat salt. Prescribe a rigid schedule. You don't have fire blood. You don't wake up to go piss at 3.32 a.m. and go, I'm not going back to sleep because I want to make some f***ing money. So you're all lazy. Control their thoughts. Our ideology answers all questions to all problems. If I talk about something, I know exactly what I'm talking about all of the time. There are still idiots out there who go, hmm, I don't know if I can trust you. Control their emotions. Induce guilt. And here I am showing you how war room members live their lives. And you're not thinking, I need to get in that room. I don't know what you're thinking. You're probably not thinking at all. And instead, you're going to sit at home, make some excuse for why you're not in the war room, why you're not part of our network. And fear. I think you need to be sitting here panicking at the fact that you don't have enough money. You need to be concerned and worried and sad and you need to do something about it today. Control information. Keep them from knowing all the workings of the cult. War Room is a private network. That's the most I can say. Kind of imagine the Freemasons of old. The War Room is the most powerful network on the face of the planet today. Tell them that there is a part of their mind they must eliminate in order to find happiness. No one cares about how depressed you are. No one gives a shit. You motherfuckers who aren't happy need to learn to be grateful. Claim authority. It can come from a divine source. Not only my parents listen to a man, I am actually fulfilled with divine purpose. I'm one of God's favorites. Bogus scientific research or special knowledge. I've analyzed the entire earth and realized all of the world's problems. I'm about to tell you the root cause of every single problem in the world. Make up stories about yourself to boost your importance. I say with 1,000% confidence, I don't know any other motherfucker alive who could have done what I did yesterday. Encourage separation from their family. With a bunch of other insignificant losers. Think about it. Your dad's a bitch. Mom, stupid. Sister, brother, whoever. Losers. Aunt, aunt, your aunt, that favorite aunt. Dumb as fuck. If they die, nobody would care. Have confessionals where people demonize their early lives and only praise their life in the group. So I felt very alone, particularly before I joined the war room. I always say f time and f blood. I want to know 
do our souls align. I need to find people that believe things that I believe, that want the same things that I want. You need to find a group of people that can support you inside a tribe that's strong enough to have your back all the way around. And that is the number one reason you should make the investment to join the war room. But don't be stupid about it. Start slowly. A good con man takes a little bit of truth and a lot of lies and pulls the wool over the eyes of the ignorant. This is stage one of a three-step plan. So I'm going to be viral for a little bit longer, and then step two begins. The conquest is continuing.